So how do you go about getting accurate measurements of height, weight and head circumference in children? Well, as you can see, here at Sheffield Children's Hospital, we're very fortunate that we have our own dedicated area. What then are the essentials, Sally? Should we look at weighings first? What type of scales do you use? We use digital scales here. There are now European guidelines when you purchase your scales. Um, and we use baby scales that weigh infants up to 10 kilograms. And then we use sitting scales and also standing scales too. And do you need to check them? Yes, they need to be calibrated daily, uh, just for accuracy. We do a daily calibration with a known weight. For example, you can use, in the hospital setting, a 500ml bag of saline actually weighs 550 grams. And you can also, in the community, use something like a bag of pasta. A 500 gram bag of pasta weighs as it says. Scales should be calibrated annually and checked by a medical physics department or an outside contractor. And what are the common problems with scales? Ensuring the measurement units are correct. And which units do you weigh in? We always weigh in kilograms and grams and, if necessary, convert into pounds and ounces for the parents using a conversion chart. And who should actually calibrate the scales? Well, it's the responsibility of the nurses or whoever's using the equipment to ensure that the scales are calibrated and accurate. As in many areas, the scales are used by numerous people. In this situation, then, you would nominate somebody to be responsible for ensuring that the scales are accurately calibrated. And equally so is calibration of the heighting or lengthening equipment. For this, we use a 60 centimetre rule. Most equipment is either self-calibrating or comes with a standard measure. If the parents come to you with heights and weights in old units, how do you go about converting them? Well, we can either use a standard conversion chart or we can use a downloadable programme such as the one that's available at the end of this module.